The ancient code of life and death is broken. A devious plan of necromancy, unrelenting and frighteningly efficient. They call themselves the Immortal Syndicate. Oh shit. It's Malthio. Oh shit. I will do as you ask, so long as you spare me. What Nothing the fuck? Dude. All my strength matters. What the fuck? That was Go my gold back way right there. Oh my god. This is incredible. How blooded betray. That's what I offer. Betray. So there's like a portal mechanic. Veiled items. Wait, what the fuck? Wow. Oh my god, that's so much better actually than what it was. Line ripped directly from 300. In the Betrayal League, you'll team up with Jun Ortoy to bring down the Immortal Syndicate. The Syndicate has four divisions, each with its own goals. Okay. Fortification, transportation, research, and intervention. In each area, you will encounter a Syndicate member. Okay. Other members can show up to aid their friends or sabotage their enemies. This is pretty fucking cool. When the battle is complete, you must decide how to continue your investigation. I had it all planned out. How could I lose? I'm better than this. Ah! That's what they're making. Bargain, execute, interrogate, and even induce them to betray each other. Starve the beast. Will not break it. Your goal is to gain intelligence leading to the captains of each division. Raid their safe houses to pillage their supplies and uncover the ultimate identity of the Immortal Syndicate's mastermind. Ooh. Each Syndicate member stores different item types in their safe house living quarters. High ranked members will have better items. Each division has a different twist on item movements. You will want to manipulate the Syndicate, maneuvering certain members into positions that are going to be the most rewarding for this you. This is like the new Atlas space. Syndicate members can drop veiled items. Take these to Jun and pick one of three options for the Veiled mod. Oh, that's fucking ridiculous. In Betrayal, the old cohort of Forsaken Masters have mysteriously vanished. Together, Einha, Alva, Nico, Jun, and Zana have taken over as the new Masters. Their lead content has become the new Master missions, including a simplified version of Beastery where Einha will net beasts for you. This expansion contains many other features, such as master crafting oh. that doesn't require grinding master levels, a unified hideout system, and new skills. Check out pathofexile.com slash betrayal to find out more. Should we just do a should we should this just be a Path of Exile stream? Right now? You wanna play Path no, of Exile? No, I mean right like now? just from, from now on. Jesus Christ. Dude, December 7th. Bro, Boys. Like, is that the time? Is that going to be the time that we actually fucking move into variety? Can we get some Fs Bro, in like, chat is... for Diablo? Like, it's done. <laughs> like, it's fucking done. Like, Diablo, there's no way they can come back from this. There's no fucking way you can come back from even that trailer. Even a trailer. There's no way. There's, there's no like, way Diablo. I, I, think about this. One of the features that you saw in that trailer is the equivalent of basically everything about Diablo. 
in Diablo 3. Like they, one of those could be an expansion for Diablo that you would have to pay $40 for. Do you know how much the Path of Exile trailer uh, expansion is going to be? It's how free. much? It's free. What? You, you get it for free. It, it's a it's free trailer. Yeah, it's free trailer. Bro, like, I think honestly, like after like tonight, I kind of want to play. You want to play after stream? Maybe, yeah. But like, honestly, like, maybe, I, I want to like... I'm uh, so down. Dude, dude we okay. can play on your second channel that dude, nobody knows about what yet. What the fuck, dude? That's... Oh my god. Is this going to be it? This like, is it. What the fuck, bro? Like... Dude, if we start actually like... The only thing... Alright, so... Alright, well, let's talk about Path of Exile, okay? Okay, here we go. I don't want to get it too into it, right? Because, you know, we're doing like Project 60 stuff. But I guess we might as well just talk about it right now. I, I love the game, okay? Like, as you guys can probably tell, like, I do really like the game a lot. Uh, the way that I see this is that the only thing that I don't like about Path of Exile is that it doesn't have the same, like, the same, like, social situations that WoW has. That's the weakness that I think Path of Exile has. At least, like, that's what I think. I don't know, like, that's probably the only thing that I don't like about it. And I also don't like that you lose experience whenever you die. Like, besides that, I think it's, like, the best game ever. 100%, man. Can we tag these guys, too? It's a pay-to-win game? You fucking idiot. No, it's not. It's a pay-to-get-skins game. I probably spent $200. Yeah, this is where your Twitch Primes are going, by the way. Um, I've spent $200 on skins in Path of Exile. I've actually spent more money on Path of Exile than I've spent on Diablo. And Diablo is a game that I actually have to pay to play. Think about that. Like, the thing is, like, and I don't feel bad about it either, because they're always coming out with new shit like this. But for something like Fortnite, I don't even have a skin on that at all. Like, I, I'm not. I, I, I guess, like, I feel like companies that have, like, that relationship with the players are the companies that succeed. Like, and that's what Blizzard used to have. Right, Blizzard used to be like, if, if Blizzard brought something out, people would play it, like Overwatch, for example. People would play Overwatch just because it was a Blizzard game. Like, even sure. like people that played like, you know, like WoW or whatever, they're like, oh, I'm gonna try out a, a fucking Overwatch because it's a Blizzard game. People that played WoW played Diablo. They're like, why are you gonna play Diablo? Oh, it's a Blizzard game. It's probably gonna be good, right? That's real shit, man. That's what we're missing out on. And like, Path of Exile has that relationship with its community, and that's why it's so successful even as a free game. Like, think about this. Who would win? A multi-billion dollar company? Or some Kiwis? Think about that. That's what, that's what it takes. That's what it takes to be successful. Is you have to love what you're doing. And I feel like if you don't, you're never gonna be successful. That's like, that's real shit, man. Like, you'll only, you'll do well, maybe, if you're, like, good at something else, you're, like, really, like, dedicated or whatever, but you're never going to be successful on, like, a large scale, I, I think, unless you, like, completely love what you're doing. And it feels like the people at Path of Exile, like, really care, and they listen to their community. And that's why the game, like, I feel like the game has done nothing but grow. Like, even after, like, years after it's been released, the game has done nothing but grow and get bigger and larger and more influential. To the point now where... It's like, I don't think that Blizzard, like, I wonder, I wish that I could ask Blizzard, like, so what do you guys think about Path of Exile, right? Just to hear what they have to say. Uh, how do I cancel this? You don't. Uh, thank you very much for the reset. Imagine if PoE devs made an MMO. Dude, that would be one of the best MMOs of all fucking time. I agree with you there, man. Holy fuck. That would actually be insane. Can you imagine that? A fucking PoE MMO? Jesus oh Christ, that God. would be insane. World of Exiles. Like, I just like... I, I don't know, I just like the game a lot. And as I said, like, I... I spent my last, like, $10 in my bank account to support that game in 2012 so I could keep playing it. That actually, really, the only thing that really says that I'm really bad at making decisions. But, um, I, I did that. I did. Like, I had $20 in my bank account, and I spent 15 of it to support Path of Exile back in 2012. 100%, boys. So, yeah, we might actually do a Path of Exile stream whenever the new league comes out. But we've got to reset. Like, there's so much shit we have to figure out, though. Like, you know how complex yeah. that game is. Like, what we that should probably heavy. do... Yeah, we should probably do a, like, 
we should try to do Delve League and just like get up to like Uber Elder and like figure everything else out like on the way up there. I think that'd be the smartest thing to do. Yeah, I'm level like eight right now in Delve. Really level eight? Yeah, I, I, I just started like- Okay, so started. yeah, you just make me I can't, I can't figure out where the fucking, the cracked walls are, man. How do you get the, how do you blow up the cracked walls? I don't understand. I don't like, either. It doesn't show up on the fucking map at all. I haven't played Delve at all, uh, so I have no idea. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it'll be simple once I figure it out. Uh, go play RuneScape, it's better. Idiot. Imagine, oh, that's a good idea, dude. Imagine PoE, but on mobile. Stop. You know what would be so funny? Is if PoE actually did a mobile game where you were able to, like, interface with your hideout and your stash and, like, do crafting, and people received it better than Diablo Immortal. That'd be fucking Just, Just to fucking show them. Just to show them that it had nothing to do with the fact that it was a mobile game. Just to indicate how out of touch they are. I would fucking love that. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest, I really would. It would be though? It would still beat D3, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, Path of Exile I really do think is like probably one of the, uh... uh like, it's the best ARPG out there by a mile. Uh, I don't really know... Like, I can't understand why someone would play Diablo 3. Uh, I don't, like, why would you even do that? It just doesn't make any sense to me. I think I might actually start uh, start taking that game a little bit more seriously. It's been a long time since I've gotten into a game that I just like want to spend all of my life playing, right? And like that's something I really miss. Because like I used to, like, I want a game that's worthy of me wasting my life over it. And wow, I don't really think it's really there right now. Like it's there to an extent, but it's not there in the way that I want it to be. It can be a lot better. Are you telling me if you take a huge shit, you're not gonna play Diablo Mortal? No, I'm not. Uh, I don't play any. Uh, I don't play any phone games at all. The only phone game that I play is Twitter. Like that's it. I don't play anything else on my phone. I, I don't have any games on my phone. I don't have Tetris. I don't have Snake. I don't have Candy Crush. I don't have anything. I've never played games on my phone. I'm not into that kind of stuff. Uh, I don't know really what it is about it, but uh, I've just never enjoyed playing. The only time that I ever played a game on my phone is I remember I played Snake or something like that on like a Nokia phone. That was it. Everything else has been uh, just completely PC the whole time.